Hello, and we are back with another unit conversion tutorial. In this case, we are looking at the Earth's ocean's mass. And you might have seen the previous video with the same value, 1.4 times 10 to the power positive 21 kilograms. But in this case, we will be converting kilograms into the another familiar unit of mass, which is in metric tons. Okay, so it usually is involved with very big masses. So we are tasked to convert kilograms into metric tons. So let's go directly into our equivalent statement. And one kilogram is said to be zero equal to 0 0.001 metric tons. So that's approximately one of a thousand. Okay, so that's one over 1,000 of the metric ton is one kilogram. So we will be needing this equivalent statement to convert kilograms into metric tons in our solution. And we are, the given here is 1.4 times 10 to the 21 kilograms. And we have one space, which means we need this equivalent statement in the conversion factor form. And remember, the units should be in their proper places. Okay, so we now have written our conversion factor with the units in their proper places. The given units in kilograms, it's in the denominator. The desired unit is in metric tons. It's in our numerator. So let's see the cancellation of the unit, kilograms. All right, so we're now left our desired unit, which is in metric tons. So let's do the calculation. And doing the calculation, that's 1.4 times 10 to the 21 multiplied by 0 0.001. That is equal to 1.4 times 10 to the power of positive 18 metric tons. So it's just like simply also thinking that you divide this value with 1,000, and you will still s arrive to the same answer. Okay, so that's 1.4 times 10 to the power positive 18 metric tons is equivalent to 1.4 times 10 to 21 kilograms and that is the mass of the earth's oceans and that's all for this video thank you for listening and continue learning